What's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and welcome to another exciting episode of MGO Builds Stuff! Kinda, sorta. So here's the deal. Uh, if you bought this guy right here, Make Toys Rear End, then that means you got this part right here, and these bits right here, and this sword, and this thing right here, and this head. You got these little add-on parts for this guy right here your classics cyclonus so what we're going to do in this video is install all this stuff on this guy and see how it looks so we're going to put him off to the side now unfortunately um this add-on kit only works with this version of the mold which is the uh the battle in space i believe it was called set which was him and rodimus and uh yeah, it only works with this version of the mold because the original version of the classic Cyclonus mold, as you can see, is a much, much darker shade of purple, and the plastic color just doesn't match up at all, so it does not work with the original version of classic Cyclonus, unfortunately, but... It is what it is, but luckily um, somebody was selling this loose on eBay for 15 bucks, so I picked it up, and now we're going to show off how to install all this stuff on this guy. So I have my instructions right here. Got my instructions. I got tools. I'm ready to go. So we're going to see how all this works here for you know, what they're calling Hurricane. They're calling this the Hurricane add-on kit. So... We're going to get right down to it. Bring it down low here. Move this stuff over here and out of my way. We're going to see how I do this. Stay flat. You stay flat. You stay flat because it's normal. Stay flat. There we go. Alrighty. So what are we doing here? So we're just going to be undoing a lot of screws. So I guess we'll just start off with the, uh, with the head. So with the head... You're going to be undoing uh, three screws. You're going to be undoing these three screws right here behind his head. So I'll just get in here with the screwdriver and unscrew his head. Now you can say Cyclonus has a screw loose. <laughs> oh, that was horrible. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, it's like in the Peter Pan movie with Robin Williams, like, I did lose my marbles, and it was an actual sack of marbles. <laughs> Jokes. Jokes. There you have that. It's okay, so we undid these three screws, and uh, we should be able to just split his head in half. There we go. Whoa. Uh, 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 there we go. So now, to install this head, we just have to undo this one screw on the back. These are very tiny screws. Luckily, my screwdriver is small enough for this. Very small screws, so definitely make sure you have the right tool for the right job here. Otherwise, you're going to strip these things real easy. Would have been nice if maybe they included a little screwdriver. So you can do this, so there's less risk, but, yeah, it is what it is, so, okay, I undid that, and then, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, I'm taking off the, oh, okay, 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 there's this little piece here, there's this little cap on top of it, and then there's another screw underneath, okay, I thought it was just the one screw, no, there's two screws. That's a slightly bigger screw. Luckily, I have a bigger screwdriver right here. There we go. Again, make sure you have the right tool for the right job, ladies and gentlemen, especially when it comes to stuff like this, because you do not want to strip these screws. I mean, granted, I'll probably never take this kit off of him after I install it, but still, it's nice to have the option. <laughs> and if you strip those screws, you're basically robbing yourself of the option of being able to take this off again. If you want. Oh, the horns are a separate piece. So I guess maybe if somebody on Shapeways or something makes a version with both horns still intact, I guess you can just take that apart and put it back on. But anyway, we'll just put that on there. Sandwich that over that peg. Right there. And then just screw it back together. 
right there. Hey! It's not easy to do. It's very awkward. Got wings all in the way. Got shoulders all in the way. It's hard to kind of get a grip here. Again, I'm just terrified of stripping the screw. Is this on right? Yeah, I got ah, pretty scared. The horn is a soft plastic, but still, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. This is why I don't like doing stuff like this, honestly, because I'm always terrified. I am terrified that I will end up damaging the toy while I'm trying to fix it or, you know, mod it or something. I'm just trying to hold his head still so I can tighten this screw. There we go. It's just not easy to do. There we go. You want it nice and nice and snug there. Maybe give it a little bit more of a turn. Right there. There we go. That's nice and snug. There we go. And then we have this tiny screw. It goes in here. It's so tiny I can barely hold it. There we go. That going. Get that back in there. Nice and snug, but not too snug. Right there. Then you put this little cap back over the back of his head. Right there. Oops. There it goes. There you have that. He's got a new head on. And actually, the purple still doesn't match up perfectly. You can see his purple is actually a little bit brighter. So I don't know if there's... I don't know if there's another version of this mold. I don't know. I think there actually have been a couple versions of this mold, but, you know, this is the one that I could find. It, it, it matches up good enough, I guess. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't know anymore. There you go. He's got a new head. Hooray. New head. So you have that. Uh, what else? Okay, so now we're going to do the uh, the hands. We'll just take his old face here, put that off to the side. So the next thing we're going to do is replace his hands. So we got left and a right hand right here. And we're just going to undo uh, these two screws right here. So we'll get right down to that and start undoing the screws. But, yeah, uh, this might be a case that I'll just do one and then cut ahead just for the sake of time. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Hey! Right there. So that should be all good now. And then I guess we just split the arm apart. Oh, there we go. Split the arm apart. Remove old hand. I'm an old hand at this. <laughs> uh, jokes. <clears throat> sorry, I'm so sorry. Slide a new hand on. And then we just put his arm back together. Go. Boom. Boom, I said, I said, I, I said, I said, I went all foghorn, leghorn, I said, I, I, I said, I, I said, hey, and we just screw his arm back together, uh, these screws are so small, it's hard to get the grip on them, you, come on, you can do it, there we go, there we go, you can do it, you can do it, little guy, And we just put this one back in. And, and, get, get, come on. Get, 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 there we go. You can do it. You can do it, Mr. Screwdriver. You can screw with the best of them. That was just wrong on so many levels. I am so sorry. I am so, so sorry. So there you go. He's got a new hand now. Hooray! So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut ahead for the sake of time and install the other hand. So I will be right back. Whoop, whoop. So there we go. We got the other hand on. And uh, yeah, these are a lot, you know, hands are a lot better. They're actually on the, uh, they're actually on a ball joint here. So they have a little bit of movement. And he has wrist swivels now. He has wrist swivels. Hooray for people who love wrist swivels. There we go. 
now he has wrist swivels. So now, what are we going to do now? We're going to install this little skirt, little hip skirt piece right here, which actually comes with its own screw, which is so considerate. And uh, what are we going to do here? So we're just going to, um, we're going to take the screw out of his butt. That's what we're going to do. So, yeah, which screwdriver do I use for the... Uh, nope, that's too small. Let me use this one. We need the bigger screwdriver for his butt. <laughs> ah, this is so wrong on so many levels. But whatever, we will just, we'll just keep going. So anyway, we am just take that and that just goes right in there in its place. And then... We just screw this back into his butt. Uh, it's not my fault, okay? It's not my fault. That these toy companies make me say very weird, awkward things like this. I'm sitting here driving a screw into his butt. That's not right! That is not right. Is that tight? <laughs> oh, man. There we go. That's good and tight in his butt. <laughs> this is not my fault, okay? They're making me say these things. Anyway, so it just flips around. Like that. And there you go. Wow, that looks pretty cool. I believe that's how that works, right? Did I do this right? I think I did. There you go. So he has little, little hip skirt pieces there. And uh, the last piece is just uh, a sheath for the sword, and that just plugs into the port right there. That's easy installation. Boop, there you go. And then he has the sword. He can hold the sword. He holds it very snug. You kind of have to twist it in there a little bit, because it's quite snug, but he can hold it. And uh, there you go. That's it. That is the entire installation here and now we can see how he looks with all his new bits and pieces on him. There you go. So a much more IDW looking Cyclonus right there. Again it's it's a bit inaccurate now because you know he has since gotten his other horn fixed so now this isn't <laughs> it's kind of dated now but hey at the time you know it was accurate because he only had the one horn but there you go. And he has a sheath right there on the back, and you can just take the sword, and he holds that very snugly. You don't have to worry about that falling out of his hand. And you can just take that and slam that. Well, that kind of gets in the way. There we go. Let's make sure that's pushed all the way in. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> There you go. So he has a sword on his back. It works. There you go. There you have it. All the parts on him. And now he's all IDW. That looks cool. That looks cool. I can dig it. I can dig it. I can work with that. I like it how the least hip skirt pieces do. I don't know if they work that well, but yeah. They kind of want to move themselves out of the way here. Yeah. They, 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 the hip skirts kind of fit on here kind of kind of weird I don't know if I just did something wrong you can see they don't sit flush like they're supposed to unless I'm just doing something wrong which I probably am because this is me we're talking about here this is the part where somebody in the comments section goes well actually I'm going actually what you're supposed to do is actually the instructions just tell you to do what I just did. So, you know, I did what the instructions told me to do. I followed orders. That's all I can do. Right there. Anyway. Either way, so it looks pretty cool. Now, he is transformable with all these new parts on him. And we'll try to get him into alt mode here. So everything should work the same. These pieces are painted in now, which is pretty nice. They do get some extra molded details in there. Which is pretty cool. So you have that, and then, uh, I forget how this goes. I haven't transformed this mold in quite a while. So there we go. That goes like that. 
those plugs in right there, that plugs in there. It's a little snug. And that's let me show this off here. Undo that, rotate his head, and we can see how this works with the new head. Oop. Okay. So apparently we need to uh, move this back because it gets in the way of this hinge right here working. Let's pull that out, right there, and yeah, that works. It actually does. See the horn actually fits the curve there pretty much perfectly, although it's there's nothing on the other side, but hey! There you go. Like that. And then I believe with this piece you're supposed to just kind of rotate these around. Like that. And get the legs transformed. Split. Split. Like that. Splitch, splitch, splitch. Splitch, splitch, splitch. Splitch, splitch, splitch. Splitch, splitch, splitch. So, that rotates. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Right, no, yeah, okay. <laughs> like I said, I haven't transformed this mold in a while, actually. I kind of forgot how it goes. There we go. Like that. Tabs in there, like that. And then these pieces, I think, just... Yeah, they just sit back here. Like that. They just rest back here. You can see they're actually, like... Something to kind of mimic some extra thrusters back there. Just gives it a little bit more bulk. And I guess you can leave that sheath there and leave the sword up there if you wanted to. It looks kind of weird, but you could. Probably not the best idea, but A, you can do it. So, we could, I don't know, turn this around. I can make him a helicopter now. I don't know. <laughs> but there you go. Fully transformable with new parts on him. And, uh, yeah, that's it. There you go. So you have the, uh, the Hurricane add-on kit from Make Toys. So there you go. Pretty easy, not a lot of work, and you get a nice uh, IDW-looking Cyclonus to put on your shelf with your other IDW figures. So, very cool. I dig it. Very nice. So there you have that. So you can always check out my MGO Build Stuff playlist for any builds you may have missed. There'll be a link in the description down below. So check that out. And of course, if you would like an add-on kit of your own, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below as well. Of course, remember you do have to buy this figure if you want this kit. So you have to buy rear end if you want the Hurricane add-on kits. But again, it will be linked in the description down below if you are interested, so check that out. And that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Make Toys Hurricane add-on kit, and this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, palm in your face!